Once we heard that he was to be married over there in Vietnam, I thought it would be nice if we all got together and uh, helped mother and dad to be able to make the trip. His response was uh, sort of a thank you, Lynn, but no thanks. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation. So after he got done serving two years in Vietnam, he got married. And then he and his wife uh, he, uh, decided to go on for a third year. And of course, he was killed six days after that. He was killed point blank. A volley of shots ended his life. Those volley of shots reeled him backwards into a closet. On that closet door was a poster that um, Ted had seen fit to put up there, and it was, what if they give a war and nobody came? The uh, Stars and Stripes, which of course is a military, a military publication, uh, made some extremely complimentary and kind remarks about Ted and uh, his work that they were familiar with. When he got killed, then all of a sudden we, we read and learn more about him and it, it leads us to believe that um, here is a brother who was, uh, lived the kind of life that, I wanna live that kind of a life. I wanna be that brazen. Lord, give me the power to do that. Ted's uh, life, the example of his short life was something that helped uh, strengthen our own family and our own relationships as a family. When Ted died, uh, we siblings all gathered at the farm where we grew up, and I th we were a week together before his body came back to us. I think that really kind of made us more aware, certainly made us more aware of what Ted believed and how he really was able to follow his beliefs. Well, it certainly made a difference uh, in my life because uh, I was, had completed military service by the time Ted was 10 years old. I wasn't familiar with his life other than I knew he was an athlete, followed in the tracks of all the rest of us. Uh, so it made a huge impression on me what happened to Ted, an indelible impression. Peace is certainly not for wimps. He had the strength to stand up uh, and listen to other people, but also to uh, let them hear what his views were. And when people would write him letters, he'd say, you know, if you really want to do something for me, do whatever you can to work for peace uh, in nonviolent ways, because he was seeing things that uh, caused him to say that. I think it does take an additional effort to be a pacifist and to follow peace. Ted had detractors. Many people would see him as unpatriotic. And he got a scathing review about his un-Americanism. How can he call himself a Christian or a God-fearing person when he speaks about that his country is in the wrong in, in this war? Of course, Ted felt that all war was wrong. But what was remarkable, he responded and penned his response to that, to that attack on him from this gentleman in, in uh, his hometown area. But he did it with such compassion, which was really very remarkable. And within hours of him being killed, point blank, by an individual, part of the war, he came up and read this letter to the nurse, a church world service worker in the compound where he was. I found that remarkable. Mm -hmm. One of the last things that he did in his life was uh, write a very compassionate letter and uh, further just underscoring his commitment to peace and uh, to dealing peacefully even with those who don't see things quite the way we see them. Mm -hmm.